Hi guys, this is the second lesson of CH course and the second part of Linux operating uh, video. Okay, this uh, some uh, some comments uh, we will discuss about them in previous uh, video. Uh, I talked about uh, how we can install K Linux and then uh, uh, we started uh, the uh, LS command. Uh, let me continue that. Well, this is Kali Linux. Okay. First of all, if you remember, uh, I used uh, in previous uh, video um, some switches after command. For example, uh, I use uh, ls space dash la. Well, dash la is a switch. For example, ls dash la, ls dash l, ls dash a. And any other items, ls dash d dash g, any other ones. Okay, what about uh, the switches? How we can uh, understand about switches? Uh, there is two ways you can use uh, um, one of them for getting uh, full information about the, uh, about switches of each command. First way is use ls. Uh, command name space dash dash help if you use this command uh, dash dash help uh, you will get um, complete information about that command like this ls dash dash help each command shown shown here and uh, description about that front of that uh, dash D, for example, shows list directories themselves, not contents, uh, and any other ones, any others, and any others, for, for example, dash A, and so on. Another way, use manual command or man, man space ls. The information shown uh, by manual or man command is uh, very com uh, more completely uh, than um, dash dash help. But not each command has manual. Some commands has. Well, and you can uh, use a space button to see other page or type Q for quit. Another item I, I will say you in this video is uh, some important uh, directories in uh, Linux. First of all, first of all of this item is cd slash etc what's etc etc um, is the uh, is the uh, directory name uh, in linux which contains configuration files of uh, many services and items for example if you want to configure the network uh, and configure your uh, computer network in the interface card nic uh, to uh, uh, to be have um, uh, IP address permanency and don't change when uh, Linux is restarting. You can uh, go into etc and open um, the configuration files of network interface card and edit that. Keep in mind uh, in Linux uh, when you want uh, to uh, configure any services, for example, running and setting up uh, DHCP service, D D um, DNS service, Active Directory, and any others. Uh, you can open that configuration files and edit. It doesn't like uh, Microsoft uh, Windows for um, click the menu and open that uh, service and uh, starting the configuration. And the Linux commonly based on uh, configuration files and it is great, I think, uh, because you can see you own uh, you um, can see uh, what happens when you use each command. Well, slash etc, this is. slash cd slash var, cd slash var, cd slash dev, devices, var various, or uh, many items, ls, cd slash boot, Boot files, cds slash, 
etc being for executed, uh, executable files or executable links such as uh, Microsoft Windows System 32 uh, folder and sys for system files or uh, any others we will discuss more inside the course uh, uh, slowly one by one step by step to uh, don't press your mind well let's go to another command another command is who am i who am i who, uh, who am i uh, with who am i you can uh, know about currently logged in user uh, this shows uh, shows me that I logged in with Kali username. Who am I is uh, is the name of a great movie about hacking. I recommend you to watch that. Uh, it's uh, produced in uh, 2014, 2014 year 2014. It's really great uh, hacking uh, movie about hacked uh, hacked uh, security uh, information office of Germany you can uh, watch it and enjoy really come uh, really recommend that watch that well another command is pwd pwd use uh, shows current directory we are in directory slash maybe uh, uh, you entered uh, more and more and more uh, paths and folders and uh, you uh, and abbreviated and and show in abbreviated mode in this and you cannot uh, understand uh, where you are in uh, operating system you can use pwd to show you uh, where uh, what's uh, now current directory cd or cd uh, dot dot i talked about that for example cd slash etc you can see a uh, use cd space dot dot for come back one step mkdir mkdir making directory it's simple mkdir test one test one okay the, uh, the os uh, says permission denied because i'm not logged in with your root username uh, this prompt that shows dollar sign uh, it means uh, I logged in with uh, with a user another one uh, rather than the root username. I'm not root user. Uh, in this uh, situation, we, we have uh, two options: uh, log, log log off from the current user and log in uh, with root. Uh, that I don't recommend. And another way is uh, perform our uh, favorite command. Uh, based on administrative privilege such as windows run as administrative uh, item we can use sudo sudo mkdir test1 test1 we are uh, now we are uh, performing this command in slash path okay keep in mind your uh, keep in mind where you are uh, doing the command or making the file or folder and so on uh, sudo mkdir test1 ask us the kali username uh, my uh, the kali username's password my password is kali also and okay ls this is the test one folder that created well another command was Console L for clearing uh, Linux page. Uh, another command is touch. Let me sudo touch. Touch uh, with touch command you can uh, create a, f uh, a file. You can create a file. Uh, it is not important. File maybe dot txt dot jpg or any others. In Linux uh, you don't have any extension for files. It, uh, it's up to you for uh, defining or for selecting um, some uh, extension for file or not. For example, I can touch file name new file. Just this. The extension is not mandatory. LS, this is new file. 
also I could use new file one.txt for example else another file created new file one.txt well uh, going to echo um, let me switch to the uh, root uh, users su root uh, su command means switch user and with this command i can switch uh, to the another user in this case i uh, i'm switching to root su root password i i did set root okay uh, because now i mean uh, root mode uh, so don't need uh, for uh, using sudo command so i can uh, use echo sorry echo hi dear guys A space greater than into uh, file uh, file name maybe maybe this file not exists uh, no, not any problem if uh, file don't uh, don't be exit uh, don't be exist it will uh, it will be create it will be created and uh, copy this uh, text hi dear guys into that file text file test now uh, one dot txt ls we doesn't have this previous minutes ago so with uh, the command cat i can uh, see inside the file file test one.txt this is the text i transferred into that so uh, nano nano it's a uh, editor file and um, another another uh, another item another uh, commands or uh, application uh, is present for um, replace with nano but uh, let me uh, describe you nano because uh, if you uh, don't uh, if you don't any access uh, to the graphical um, file editor uh, you can use nano because uh, it is uh, present in all uh, versions and all distribution uh, distribution of all linux uh, operating system nano for example file file test dot uh, file this one dot txt in there now i can edit that blah 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 and uh, control x control x and then y see see there y either again cat file test one is edited on that file okay uh, else again let me uh, mk dire test two another folder we are uh, in the uh, path of a slash test one folder ls we have two file and one folder uh, uh, i can uh, use cp command means copy file select the file for example new new file sorry cp new file into uh, what was the folder number test two copy test two okay ls test two show me the inside of test two this is or i can in go inside that test two and use ls command cd double dot for a comeback one step uh, another item is uh, another command is mv for move move file test one dot txt into test two so uh, let me check ls ls uh, there is a no uh, file test one here should we go 
should be moved to test folder ls test uh, test 2 folder ls test 2 yes there is and rm remove uh, now pwd i mean test 1 ls i'm going to test 2 and pwd now i1 rm dash rf remove force uh, that's um, don't any uh, question about uh, deleting uh, when you use dash rf it will be delete uh, uh, it means shift delete and don't any question don't any ask uh, and uh, don't any confirmation about removing dash rf new file new okay it's removed and deleted and another one is uh, ps dash space space dash a u x dash sorry dash a u x this uh, shows us a process list process list is very very important for us you can see uh, why it is so important as soon as soon in uh, during of this course in the next videos uh, the user who started uh, the process process id cpu memory any uh, items i will discuss about uh, all of them later and the command that uh, runs uh, any process for example such as um, su root i i did uh, command i did perform the command su root you can see it in this or uh, this command ps-aux for showing this list uh, su kali su root again and more and more items dear friends that's it uh, until here is enough uh, i am i didn't uh... dear guys that's enough uh, I don't want to continue uh, more. I don't want uh, video uh, to be uh, too long. Uh, so uh, we will continue another comments in um, in the next videos. Uh, there are uh, many comments. Uh, should I check and use that uh, for uh, identifying and familiar with uh, operating system uh, that we can use Kali Linux. Okay, have a nice time. Uh, see you later in the next video. Bye.